has long been a taboo topic of conversation, and women may be embarrassed even to discuss their symptoms with their doctors. But Ms. Medicine wants to help doctors and their patients open up about this phase of life. Dr. Rachel Rubin is a urologist and sexual health medicine specialist who's with us this morning. Dr. Rubin, good morning. You're going to be taking part in a virtual roundtable for doctors. What are some of the things doctors need to do to make it easier for their patients to discuss menopause? You know, I will say thank you for having me. I'm about five blocks from the White House and I'm thrilled to be in Ohio where I was born. Um, I'm a urologist and I focus on sexual health and doctors don't get a lot of training on how to talk to their patients about sexual problems. So what type of training do you hope to give them at this seminar and what will that mean for, for women? Yep, we do a lot of work of trying to educate doctors to be more comfortable talking about sexual health problems and for realizing that these are things that are actually treatable. Low libido, painful intercourse, all of those things are within uh, the purview of a primary care doctor, a urologist, or a gynecologist to really help their patients with. A lot, of, a lot of women may, may think, well, these complaints that you just mentioned are just things I have to live with. It's just part of getting older. What do you say to that? I say no, no, no. All of these things are extremely treatable. It's extremely safe to treat these problems. And a really good a conversation with a doctor who's an expert at these issues and really cares uh, will make your life and your quality of life so much better. Well, I know one of the things you're also trying to dispel is um, some fears about hormone replacement therapy. Why is that being used to treat some of the complaints of menopause and, and is it safe? Menopause has the worst PR campaign in the history of the world. It is not just hot flashes and night sweats. It's low libido. It's painful intercourse. It's, it's uh, brittle bones. And uh, we must get over the idea that all hormones are dangerous. That is an old uh, myth. Uh, and we have to understand that there's a lot of new data out there that actually many kinds of hormones are very protective and safe. Do you think all doctors um, have gotten up to date with some of the treatments for these sexual health matters? Far from it, we have a long way to go. Uh, doctors haven't had very good training on the safety of hormones. And uh, Miss Medicine is doing a lot of work to advocate and to teach doctors that there's so much more we can do uh, to help our, our female patients. And, and from the women's side, how can talking about sexual health, whether, whether with your doctors and your healthcare providers, how can that help, help women move into enjoying life and enjoying this phase of life? Women have to start advocating for themselves. They need to understand that their quality of life is important and it matters. And it's okay to ask your doctor about these problems and these issues. It doesn't all have to be about high blood pressure and diabetes. Well, the virtual seminar that you're having is a great step. What are some of the other things you're doing to get people to feel better about talking about this? I am screaming from the rooftops. I will educate anyone who will listen. We have big conferences. We're teaching doctors. We're teaching patients. We're doing everything we can to get people talking about sex like it's just health because sexual health is just health. I treat men. I treat women. And uh, getting more comfortable talking about these issues uh, will really improve quality of life. Dr. Rachel Rubin, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule talk to talk to us. And just a reminder, uh, you can also get in touch with Ms. Medicine here in the Tri-State to ask your questions there. Thanks for having me. Thank you.